Hey guys, doing a conference with North American Missions who I work for this week and we are um, doing some production work in a gym of Atlanta West Pentecostal Church and so we've had to load in some of our own stuff this week. They've got a system in the sanctuary but we've burned in these LED walls, we've got some uh, some video stuff going on so I'm setting up some cameras and part of that includes a wireless transmitter receiver so I've got one camera on a tripod over in the back of the room but I'm also doing kind of a secondary cam right here that I've got a battery on and doing a wireless uh, transmission um, for that and so I'm using the Hollyland C1 this guy right here Uh, so it is a uh, SDI and HDMI um, wireless system uh, and it's incredible so it's super easy um, you know I'm sure if you're watching this you're somewhat familiar with uh, wireless transmitters but basically I've got a transmitter that comes out of the camera into this transmitter and then I've got one that looks just like this that's um, over here as a receiver and this receiver goes out into my Blackmagic um, ATEM. Okay, so a couple things about this. Um, it's got a on off switch. You can power it three ways. Number one, you can plug in a uh, cable right here. You can run it off of NPF battery, which is what I'm doing, or um, you can run it off of a USB-C because it's got a USB-C port right there. Um, you've got this little OLED display where you can make sure it's paired or switch channels um, and it's got HDMI in, it's got SDI in and SDI out. So now one thing about this limitation, you cannot switch from HDMI in to SDI out on the receiver. So you cannot go from HDMI to SDI. So for some people that may be something you need to consider. It's really great. One thing, um, if you've watched any of my videos, I am not a deep tech person. What I mean about that is I'm not going to be able to give you tons of information on frequency. I mean, I can read stuff and I can regurgitate it. But for me, what I want to know is can I plug the tech in and it work with very minimal understanding of like a lot of the deep ins and outs because I'm not a full-time tech person, but I do find myself in situations where I'm running a setup like this, where I've got to learn, I've got to be able to use stuff. So I've got the uh, receiver right here and it's kind of hard to see, but it's right there. So I've got it plugged into power. I've literally just got it clamped onto this table and it's going there into my um, Blackmagic A10 Mini Extreme ISO. And so we are uh, recording these sessions as well. So yeah, this is um, a system that I've I've had for over a year now. It works really well. Um, it does 1080 transmission. Uh, the latency, um, I've never had a major issue with latency on this. There is a little bit of latency, I think, um, but that's just going to come with the territory. So I think this is really aimed at the prosumer market. So there are cheaper, definitely cheaper, um, you know, wireless systems that you can get. There are definitely more expensive wireless systems that you can get, but this is a great for me. Um, you uh, church setting, uh, run and gun mobile setting. There's a couple of applications like that that I would find, think this would be the perfect unit for. Um, so yeah, so Hollywood does a great job with a lot of their stuff. I'll show you some of the other features about it, but this is kind of just um, in the field, I guess you could say. Now, I've got the box here, and um, it comes with this great hard case. Again, for traveling, is really convenient. And inside here, you get a um, you get a clamp. You get two of these little mushroom. Um, antennas and you get four of the regular antennas you got some space for some of the cabling and you get some of the cabling in there and some mounting adapters literally you just took it out of the box um, powered the receiver powered the transmitter went from camera to transmitter to receiver and immediately got an image it paired up perfectly um, so that's what I love about a lot of Hollyland stuff is it just works really quickly another shout out to them I'm using the SolidCom C1 wireless comm system this week as well and I'll have a video about that, but that is also another product that I think is incredible from Hollyland that's super useful, really easy to use. So this is a great um, wireless system from Hollyland that I use and really like. Again, it's the Cosmo C1. I'll have a link to it in the description of this video. If you've got any questions, just let me know. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're using this week, and it's a tank. This is all metal construction. It's held up really well for over a year, and I'm really enjoying it. So let's go.
right, that's a wrap on this. This is all my gear just kind of strewn everywhere, but man, Hollyland Cosmo C1, they just work, man. They're built like tanks um, and they run for a long time on MPF. I got MPF on the transmitter and then just running powered out for the receiver. So yeah, this is just, uh, it stays in my kit and every time I travel, I use these. Man, the, the latency is great. Battery's great. They don't drop. Um, so I've had a great success with these. Um, you know, Holland has some more expensive ones than these, but this is a great mid-range um, set. If you want something that's solid as a tank, again, this is all metal construction. I would highly recommend the Cosmo um, C1 wireless transmitter system from Hollyland. You guys know I'm a big Hollyland fan. They make a lot of great stuff. Their stuff is just great. And I really uh, like it. Use it again. I think it's at prosumer market. Is there more expensive stuff out there? Yeah, absolutely. Is there way cheaper stuff out there? Yes, you can. For me, this strikes a good balance between affordable and also value and quality. So there are cheaper options out there. I think this is a great option. If you want something that's gonna last, it's gonna be durable, and it's gonna be reliable. So that's what I found Hollyland to be. And the Cosmo C1 uh, transmitter, wireless transmitter receiver um, fits right in that category. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. I know I got a couple of videos from this conference, and uh, we're just wrapping up now, but it's been a great time and we'll start breaking down.